Hey guys, this is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episodes three. Episode three, not episode, Jesus Christ. I'm so used to doing that with Blue Lock. Of my favorite idols. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> I don't want to go to work tomorrow or even the rest of this week. Really? <laughs> Oh, we know. I love how she is crying so much. <laughs> right? <laughs> Stalker? Girl. <laughs> Do you think he wants to catch up with you right now, babe? No. No. <laughs> A lot of questions now, Jesus. Yeah, but you know, she's an actress. She gotta look good for her figure. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Right? I mean, damn. I know, like, you, you on that Uber One, no, girl? <laughs> well, that's good. But still, you don't want to overspend your money on freaking Uber. You know how much that shit is per month? Damn. Can you imagine a year? That's like thousands of dollars. Of course, she'd be like, yeah, I can put in a good word. Oh, Aqua. Come on, this can help with the other job. That old ass iPhone. Oh, of course not. You see how old that phone is? God damn. We can't tell you. Sure. <laughs> Right, so you might as well just let her know. I just want to know how the hell you gonna collect that hair with? <laughs> just gonna be like, yeet!
Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch it, did. True, yeah. True. And it's the truth, like, now. It is so bad, baby. Yeah, I feel like if she tries her best, that's when you know the director's gonna be like, hey, yo, tone that shit down. Mm hmm. <laughs> Makes sense.
Of course, some people will be like that. No, I mean, yeah, it, his hair is blind, but it's more dirty blind. So, no, yours is blonde blind.
Okay, number one, I feel hella, hella bad for Hana, but, you know, okay. You know how, and I hate to say this one, so let's look at any film or TV show, like, that produces this big-time actor, actress, if I can give, like, one example. Okay, let's say Jennifer Lawrence, for example, because that's the first person who popped in my head. So, Hunger Games, her best fucking series of a film. It's like... Anything that they take, any, and this could be any actor, and this could be in any field of industry for acting in any country. Whatever they're known for, like, their best thing, and they try to get something that is, like, the exact same thing that's like that or even better so that, you know, they can enhance their popularity, their reputation and everything. And then next thing you know, the film or TV show they worked on plummeted due to reasons and then drama, shit on the set and a whole bunch of other things, and that will follow them towards the next project, and the next project, and the next project. And you know, as his fans, we support them in everything that they want to do, and you know, everything that they're, all these opportunities that they're getting, but then you know, when you know even that one project that they've done really sucks, and you just wish you could tell them like, no, don't do this, this is like the worst decision in yourself. And, and that's what it is for Kana right now. Even though she's, like, considerably the best actress, her and Aqua, like, they're, they're stealing the show. She steals every single scene, even though, you know, the acting is like, oh, God, what the fuck is that shit? Um, she's still stealing the scene, even though it's a promotional series for the guys and such. And I've seen that before, where it's like, yes, the <laughs> a TV show is, like, very much half ass. And they're only doing this TV show for these actors and actresses to level them up on their reputation and, you know, promoting them and other things so that they can do bigger and better things. But for Kana, this is everything for her. And the fact that he is over here, like, talking massive dog shit about her. Can you imagine if she overheard that fucking conversation? Oh, Jesus. I, I feel like... 
she would just want to quit right then and there. And even with her talking about like, yeah, there was a point in time where I should have retired and stuff. And it's like she's getting her success story and it's like, okay, hey, this is working out for you. And then also le learning and listening to what the fuck the producer just said. You'd be like, damn, big old fuck you in the face. Like, damn. Like, gee, this is only episode three. Oh my god. Ooh. I can't even imagine what next week's gonna be like. But for a kind of focused episode, this was really good. I love the fact that we got to learn even more about her so many, you know, years later than she's now older and such. I don't think, well, I even, when I talked to somebody about this, like, I, I do like Kana. She's not best girl for me and such. I would say she's like third best girl, so I do still care about her because she is very precious and adorable. But there is one. Um, I don't know when she's popping up. I think she's in the opening. It's the blue-haired chick. Um, and such. She's the one I'm waiting for, for like so much. Because from what I have heard about her, she is really good at her shit. And then the situations and stuff without people trying not to spoil things for me. I'm just like, okay, yeah, she's pretty. So I can't wait to see her. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks or the next two to three weeks, she eventually makes her appearance and such. But yeah, Aqua, no, that producer is not your dad, boy. Like, like I said, he got dirty blonde hair and you got black, uh, <laughs> platinum kind of blonde-ish hair. Boy, no, you looking in the wrong fucking places. We all know that. I know that. You know that. Everybody else knows that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode three of My Favorite Idol. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode four. Bye, guys.